Hey folks, this video is about the difference between nominal and real, in this case, GDP. So we can put the word nominal GDP and real GDP. Now if you remember, GDP stands for the gross domestic product, gross domestic product, and this measures every new good service bought and sold in a country in one given year. So this represents the entire growth of an economy. When we look at nominal GDP, we are going to take the actual price of that year as opposed to real GDP where we are going to look at a base year to determine the actual growth. So one thing you could say is if we use nominal GDP year after year after year, we can see how the growth is going to be exponential. And in a way, that's not actually accurate. If we want to see real growth, we need to take a price at a certain year and then be able to look at the growth from year to year to year. So a good example here we can look at is something called the GDP deflator. And the GDP deflator is one way to measure the growth of an economy in one given year. This is a function of nominal GDP over the real GDP times 100. So first things first, we have to know exactly what is the nominal GDP of a given year and the real GDP of a base year. So here we need to have some information or some examples to use. Okay, so what we have here is we have consumer spending, and we know that consumer spending accounts for the largest component of GDP, about 70% of GDP. And even though we have a lot more items to include, we're going to include two simple goods that consumers are going to consume in a yearly uh, event, coffee and donuts. So here we have 2018, the quantity of coffee consumed 10 million cups at a price of $2 per cup and 5 million donuts at a price of $1. Next year, 2019, we have information about the number of cups consumed, 12 million cups of coffee at a price of $2.50 and 7 million donuts at a price of 125. So now we want to figure out what is the nominal GDP for both 2018 and 2019. To find that, we are going to multiply quantity times price and we're going to add with both goods that we have for 2018. Do the same thing for 2019. Let's do that now. Okay, so after doing the calculation, we have nominal GDP 2018, 10 million coffee times $2 plus 5 million donuts times $1. We get 20 million for coffee plus 5 million for donuts to get a total of 25 million. And that's the nominal GDP for 2018. 2019, here we have 12 million coffee times 250 plus 7 million donuts times 125. We have 30 million for coffee plus 8.75 million for donuts to get 38.75 million for the nominal value 2019. So now that we have the nominal value, again, we're looking at both quantity times price of that year, Q times P of that year, now we are interested in finding the real GDP. The real GDP. And to find the real GDP, we have to ask ourselves the question, we have to find a base year. Let's use the base year of 2018. And from here we can go ahead and calculate the real GDP 